What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 video next match, Cross Balanced Cup. Um, it's almost, well I think we have like three matches uh, remaining, so next matchup we have Chaos versus Invoked as you saw here. The two decklists I think don't need an introduction, right? Balanced.tech versus Fusion.tech aka the one card engine aka Alistair Turbo. Um, so yeah, Chaos versus Invoked, so yeah, which deck has the advantage? Um, this is kind of a good question, since I personally did not expect that Chaos would make it this far. It already lost a match? I, I don't remember against the witch deck that was, but but still, it won a couple of difficult matchups, so uh, first sight it might seem 50-50, I guess, but then again, closer to look, uh, maybe Enfoked has the advantage, especially because of Makaba, Makaba being, being a solemn judgment on legs, basically negating any spell, trap, uh, or monster effect, right, by discarding the same uh, card type. Then again, Enfoked does play a lot of quote-unquote dead cards against chaos, like, um, well, Dimensional Barrier makes well, Barrier is, I guess, fine. I mean, Metamorphosis, um, Magical Scientist are cards that can put up those uh, extra deck summons, so uh, it, it's, it's okay, I guess. But Max C, uh, for example, or Artifact Side aren't really that fantastic, right? So, yeah, let's hop in into the first duel. It was definitely a very good match. The opponent going first with Alistair.tech, immediately putting up Magaba, uh, free, well, yeah, phase up first turn. Uh, no, back, no back row, no sets, but still having the option to negate any monster or spell is quite important. He does negate the Delinquent 2-0, um, okay, yeah, because it's fine. I mean, he would have lost two cards, uh, so yeah, I think that the, the worst card I could, I could potentially, or yeah, I could potentially have discarded from my opponent's hand. It, by the way, yeah, you know, it's, at, it's uh, at random, right, would probably have been the Ghost Ogre. So, uh, okay, negating the um, Delinquent 2 and, yeah, Forceful Sentry with Demog in hand. Uh, the Dead Chaos Monsters, no painful choice to save the day, even though I thought, or at least, yeah, I think he had, like, a spell in his hand. So, game number two, I start off immediately Delinquent 2, him and discarding two cards. Very important here, since I'm uh, yeah, not really sure which two cards he was forced to discard, but, of course, he's going to negate Apprentice Magician can't uh, not let me search the Magician of Fate, right? So, I don't think I have a light in my graveyard, not really sure, I don't, I, no, indeed, I don't think so. He does Twin Twister right off the bat, so flip over six cents. The card has been quite good for me past couple of matches here in the Cross Balance Cup series, and yep, <laughs> six cents does it again, giving me those six cards, more options to get me back in the duel. Then again, if I take a look at my hand, it, it, it's not really that great, I guess? Well, Demog, uh, all those quote-unquote weak dead monsters, but I mean, Rageki, so I, I, I can't really complain, but I think I already had Rageki before the sixth sense, so I'm definitely going to drop Yatakarasu, yeah, he does a fun set, if it's Sanctum, okay, it's fine, if it's Compulse, okay, cool, but if it's not from one of those cards that can stop the Yata from doing damage, it's basically game over, right, especially because of the Makabama side of the field, I can negate any monster effect, again, from the opponent, so potentially stopping an Alistair, and of course Yatakarasu dealing damage, preventing my opponent from getting his draw face. So to all the people uh, saying that Yatagarasu could be un unbanned or should be unbanned, nope, 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 nope. It this is one of the reasons it's, no, it's, it's definitely not a healthy card, even though it might seem so. Anyway, in game number three, the opponent gets to start. That's an okay start. I mean, if the opponent is able, if the Invoke deck is able to get Magaba on the field first turn, it's definitely solid. Here, getting the two light in my graveyard, uh, that might have been a mistake on my part, since basically, it's, be it's again, I'm just giving him more lights, right, for the Magaba fusion. So, I probably should have kept the Thunder Dragon in my hand. But, okay, damage has been done. So, using Sangan's effect is not going to gain it. I believe searching Sinister Serpent, flip over six cents uh, on the attack declaration so kind of telegraphing a potential mirror force set although he does not take the bait and he goes for the discard of dimensional barrier so barrier has some extra use rights although um, i believe he used one of the megabus effects of negating the metamorphosis but i think he had um what is it called he um, yeah, he did the dimensional, well, yeah, then again, if he did use the phase down dimensional barrier, his Magabas or also would have been negated, right? So, okay, I guess why he used one of the negation effects of Magaba 
do you still have a potential monster effect negation in his hand? Or, well, with Makaba and the discard and a monster, right? So, okay, I get I get why uh, keeping the barrier was definitely an option. But very unfortunate for him, thanks to Call of the Hound, that I'm able to get through his full field of double fusion. So, I'm back in a duel. Game number four, I think. The opponent gets to start again. Very solid start. Getting the Alistair, uh, Makaba, well, Wonderwand, I think. Did he have Wonderwand? Did he use Wonderwand? Or am I missing something? I'm not really sure. Or, or uh, I probably missed something, but um, I, I, I guess it's fine, right? It doesn't really matter too much. As you'll see in a couple of moments, I mean, having, again, having the Demok in hand, the, the useless Thunder Dragon. I did not discard. I mean, it's basically, again, giving him extra targets to get another Magaba on the field. Um, so setting one back row that could be Sanctum, could be a Dead Moral Tech or whatever. So again, flip over six cents, and yep, he's going to, of course, negate the six cents, not risking giving me five or six draws. Um, or yeah, maybe set up my grave for a potential chaos summon later, but yeah, the heavy storm doesn't really matter too much. And this is definitely game over, right? Giving him the extra earth fusion, and this is more than enough attacking power to attack for game. So of course, Makaba is going to negate the Tsukuyomi here. Yeah, preventing something to put at least yeah preventing something to be put face down so the also important game number five i start off with an excellent opening and immediately thunder dragon you know for two extra thunder dragons graceful charity for some extra draws and forceful sentry um to send something back but i kind of um had like a brain fart here i was so convinced that it was a confiscation discarding level one and Again, fourth of century sends back to the deck. It's it again doesn't really matter too much. Flip over, you know, to get the demog, and we knew from the fourth of century both sets would be compos. I think yep, we need compos and sanctum. So into moral deck, sanctum popping my back row. Painful choice to send five good cards from my deck to the graveyard. Well, at least he needs to pick one of them. So it's like pick your poison. That's what I like about painful choice, and definitely one of the most broken cards ever created. Drop the BLS seemed indeed seemed the. Um, um, the okay option? Well, I guess, right? Chaos Emperor. Um, but uh, then again, I probably would not have used Emperor's effect. But yeah, whatever, right? Uh, so I did have an option to go for Alistair. But again, thanks to the Wind Witch Engine, I had to uh, prevent my opponent from getting out of the Crystal Wing. The, with the, of course, the protection effect of the... What is it called? The, the, the small Ice Bell. But... Um, yeah, anyway, so get Metamorphosis on the field. Well, use Metamorphosis getting the Thousand Ash District, forcing out the Ragian effect. Sadly, I wasn't able to get back Snatch Steel earlier, since, you know, if I use Snatch Steel, he will just put his Ragian face down, dodging the Snatch Steel. So I was like, okay, I'm in a very good position, but nope, 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 nope. He did have a very solid top deck here. I think one of his few outs, only outs, as in an Alistair out, an Alistair option, or an option to get Alistair. So normal summon Alistair, you're getting Makaba on the field, and that's game over. Um, all of my chaos monsters, boss monsters are in the grave, so I can't top deck those and uh, Monster Reborn as well, so nope, no option for me. So I think we have a well deserved winner. Chaos is out of the tournament and Invoked will move on here. Uh, and we'll take on, uh, let me double check, PK Fire. Yeah, very interesting matchup. So take, again, like always, feel free to leave your predictions for that matchup. Burning Abyss, PK Fire versus Invoked. Um, I might do like a top three, um, or at least yeah, the matchup for the top three, um, well, for the third place, right? But uh, with Chaos versus uh, the, the deck that loses the finals, but we'll see. So, some extra duels, again, to prolong the video, just not giving anything away. How long the matchup, uh, you know, uh, how long the matchup was. Uh, this is a strange Twin Twisters, but it's not going to matter too much. Flip over um, Imperial Order, again, pre-Errata Imperial Order, and I'm let, at least I let them going for the Crystal Wing, not using the Torrential Tribute preemptively, since again, pre-Errata Imperial Order, I'm not forced to pay and get rid of it, and then just use Snatch Steel, right? Snatch Steel, so OP against Envoked. Just get back or take control of the Crystal Wing and put them on the Yata, Yata Lock indeed, right? Uh, Yata just deals some very solid damage and prevents him from going into the draw phase. And now, yeah, just get rid of his monster and put him under the Yata Lock. So this is already... <laughs> this is already game over. That's again the power of Yata Garas. It might seem a weak monster, but um, no, guys. No, it's definitely a very, a very dangerous monster. It, it's, it's, its purpose is indeed on the ban list and I'm not really sure 
sure if you could Erata Yadagarasu, right? Again, very strange. Or I, I, I don't think so. Last example, last extra duel. Again, I start off. Again, doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yes, kind of weak opening hand. Mask of Darkness, not that great here. Um, not really sure what my set. I believe it's a Torrential Tribute. Yeah, but Torrential Tribute can't be activated with his field spell phase up on the field. Now I draw into the Linkwin Duo. Maybe one turn uh, late, I guess. I mean, during the opening turn, it would have been much better. Uh, him only having five cards and potentially ripping away like a field spell or a terraforming anything to prevent my opponent from getting a Makaba or an Invoked Summon, right? So double Wind Fusion, double Ragin. Uh, I do have a Rageki ready uh, a set and, uh, you know, ready to be used. Use Confiscation, get free information about my opponent's hand. But this wasn't a good play. Well, I, I guess it didn't really matter too much. The Torrential Tribute to my side of the field is useless. I can't use it here. Uh, Wonder Wand is fine. The top decked card, I think. And there is the Big Fusion, which will just take over Bountiful Artemis to attack for a game. So, okay. All I think we have a well-deserved winner with Invoked over Chaos. Invoked will move on and will... We'll, um, we'll again play out the small finals, the, the finals here uh, on the loser side of the, yeah, the loser's bracket versus PK Fire. So like always, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.